MC4630. This is a brand new hybrid for the 2015-2016 selling season. I've never seen as much response on a hybrid as we saw on this one as an experimental. Um, my phone rang repeatedly through the growing season with guys, hey, were you going to bring this thing in? Can we get some of this to sell? Um, everybody was excited about this thing, watching it coming up. This one, this one basically is going to be ahead of everything maturity-wise around it for, uh, for early vigor. Um, exceptional health on this one. Last year we dealt with a lot of leaf disease around the country. This one stayed really clean, a really nice dark green plant. It seems to do well uh, even below that 30,000 mark. Uh, a really good flex here, uh, a nice white cob, uh, semi-flowery grain. It's going to feed really well. Um, this was a hybrid, you know, we, we saw all these agronomic qualities of it as it was coming along and uh, we were anxious to get our hands on more nutritional data and, uh, you know, it, it didn't let us down. Really, really nice quality. So it's going to be a great fit in there between that, uh, basically between that 4050, 4210 and the 4880, 5250. It's going to fit that, that middle maturity zone really nicely. Make sure you take a look at this hybrid. Give me some feedback on it. Um, it seems to move around geographically very well. If you can make a 96 day corn work, this is a fit for you. MC5450, this is a newer hybrid for us. This was a hybrid that uh, we watched coming up and we're really excited about the, the quality coming off this thing. It was a really showy plant. It's a little showier than I think 5250 is. Really, really nice corn. Um, one thing I did notice out of it last year, it was a little bit susceptible to some northern corn leaf blight and some gray leaf spot. It seems to be much cleaner this, this year in 2015 than it was for 2014. Um, but it's something to be aware of. You probably want to put a, put a fungicide on this one. A flex ear, white cob, really nice starch digestibility, a good flowery grain, um, really excellent feeding quality on this hybrid, um, and just a great eye appeal. Uh, a good companion for the 527 or uh, 5250. Um, also the 5370 matches with it really nicely. Something we're going to offer new this year uh, we're going to offer it not only as a conventional, but we're going to also offer it with the Agasure Viptera 3111. Uh, so if you're looking for insect traits for this hybrid, we're going to have that option uh, coming for this fall.